In this tutorial of iDraw for the iPad, I'm going to show you how to create a variety of shapes, both concave and convex, by using the combined menu. First thing that I'm going to do is create a simple circle by dragging my finger across with the circle tool and then adding a second finger. At this point, I'm going to remove a part of this circle. In order to do that, I'm going to use the pen tool to create a triangle. The pen tool operates by creating single nodes. So I'm going to go ahead and cre uh, create a node by tapping. Then I'm going to create another node inside my circle. As you can see, the pen tool joins each of these nodes. And as I'm tapping, it creates a line between the nodes. Now that I have these two shapes, I'm going to go ahead and select them by using my move tool. I'm going to go ahead and drag my finger across the screen, which selects both of my objects. On the top right, you will see the menu that has two little rectangles on top of each other. Under here, you have Arrange, Combine, and Path. Go ahead and click on the second choice, which is Combine. This menu allows you to have the shapes interact with each other in a variety of ways. If you click Union, the two shapes will become one shape but that's not what we want. Um, go ahead and click on the second one, which is subtract. That choice will subtract the top shape from the bottom shape. There are a few other options that you can play with. There's intersect, exclude, and divide, and they all do something different. Now that I have subtracted the top shape from the bottom shape, I'm going to show you how to combine two shapes into one by using that same menu. This time, I'm going to create the ghost from Pac-Man. Go ahead and grab the circle tool and draw an ellipse by dragging your finger. Next, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to zoom in by pinching my fingers outward. I'm going to try to align my rectangle to my ellipse by ensuring that the edges line up. As I'm drawing, you will notice that these little orange lines show up. These are called smart guides. When you see a smart guide, it means that your new shape is aligning with the shape that is near it. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my edges are aligned. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more to make sure that my shapes are uh, about as aligned as I can get them. I'm going to grab my arrow tool and I'm going to double check both sides. And if a shape is not lining up, I can simply grab the corner of it to resize it. I'm pinching it um, inward with both fingers. Now I have one shape on top of the other, and my shape here resembles a trash can. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one finger using the arrow tool, and I'm going to select both of these shapes. Again, go to the top right and find the combine menu underneath the two rectangles and this time I'm gonna click on Union. By clicking on Union I, ha I have now created one shape out of two different shapes. Now that I have created this second shape I'm gonna create the notches at the bottom of the ghost by using the pen tool. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. I'm gonna grab the pen tool which is on the left side and I'm going to create a triangle by clicking one time and then a couple other times. Now that I have this triangle shape, I'm going to create another one next to it and another one. Once you have these shapes, you're able to alter them by using the second arrow that is empty on the inside and dragging the nodes of each of your shapes however you want. Now that I have all three triangles at the bottom, I'm going to grab my first arrow and I'm going to select the ghost plus the three triangles underneath it. I'm going to click the two rectangle tool. And again, I'm going to go to where it says combine and this time I'm going to click subtract. And that enables me to create the bottom of the ghost. At this point, if you want to create eyes on your ghost, just go over to your circle tool pick whatever color you want and draw an eye 
inside your Pac-Man, and inside your ghost. To create the mouth of the ghost, you can also use the pen tool. Grab your pen tool and select an outline color, which is the donut on the left. In iDraw, an outline is called a stroke. So I'm going to leave it on black. Now, in order to um, create a shape, a line, to, a line without any interior, I'm going to go over to my fill color, and I'm going to drag this slider all the way to the left, which removes any interior color. Now I'm going to grab my pen tool, and I'm going to create a series of points to create a zigzag line. If you ever create an extra point, hit your undo tool. Once you create um, a shape or a line using the pen tool, you're able to select it and move it however you want, or use the second arrow to move any of the points in your line. You should now have a Pac-Man and a ghost. This concludes a tutorial on how to create convex and concave shapes using the combined menu on iDraw.